I came back to the area where I found my silver coins the other day and my first signal was that so it looks like a thimble thimble and it is a thimble lovely one and it looks like it's been damaged so I'm not gonna bother in cleaning here now because it might actually damage the uh, top part of it so I'm gonna leave it as it is there you go a nice little heart shape pendant there that came from there There might, nice. there might be some, uh, uh, I think it's a religious uh, kind of, it? could be. Oh, I can see something written there. Maybe it's a dog tag. Nice shape, Lovely little coin there. And can you see the imprint there? So let's guess Victoria or George. And it's a Victoria. Old Veil. Lovely. So let's try and see the date there. Look at the imprint there, that's beautiful. So the date is below Britannia. Nineteen hundreds or nineteen hundred. Lovely. My next find was quite deep actually. All the way in there. And uh, it's uh, a brooch, I think. very delicate and it looks like the the pain to attach from one side to another is missing and I think that is the front but I'm not gonna clean here so I'm gonna stop now right it looks like another silver silver yeah so let's find out Oh. It's a Ahmed coin. Bloody hell. Rob, you should come and see this. No, it's not actually. Oh. Looked oh, like it. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Wow, what is that? Oh, it's a, a bully. 
It's a, uh, yeah. But whether that's fake or not, I've never seen a back like that before. George III. That's a beauty, isn't it? Mm. It's a love token as well, by the look of it. Yeah. Yeah, they um, tried to, but it couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, no, no, there's a shield. It looked like something else. Nice. Yes, do you know beauty. what? I tell you, that was a very neat signal. If I wasn't. It, I wasn't gonna. Yeah, if it, I wasn't going to actually um, dig, but. Uh, well, that's beautiful. I'm pleased I did. It's still on my bucket list. Is it? George, I've never had a George III silver. I would love to, because I, I love his the bull head. Yeah, I'm trying like, to see if there is a year here that I can actually. Oh, that's fantastic! Nice one. Probably what, 1806, 1806, something like that. I think uh, I might see a 1808, well, could be an 1808. That's nice, well done. Right, I could be wrong, but I could be right. It might be another silver, silver. There. It's a lovely patina to it. Let's find out. Is it? Oh, it's a button. It's a button. That was a great signal, actually. They could be silver plated. Shank is still there, which is nice. And there you are. And I have another coin. There. Don't think it's silver, but it's a coin. Think. Oh, it's been damaged. If it's a coin, I'm going to be careful here. Uh, you know what, I wonder if this happened with me before, I think this might be the imprint of a coin. I don't think that's the metal there. So, which means the coin should be there somewhere. Let me check here. My uh, pin pointer. Right, I thought I was filming earlier, I thought there was a Victoria, but then I realised that I wasn't actually filming, so... I'm going to start again, I think my coin here is not a Victoria or a George V, because I've just realised that the portrait is facing right, and it looks that it could be a George III, three on the top there, and the portrait facing uh, right. So that's a nice one.
Okay, another coin there. Okay, that's a Britannia. Let's see the date before we turn over. 1900, so it's another Victoria. So it's the second 1900 Victoria coin I found today. There you are, the old veil. Nice one. Here we are again, a very windy day today. So first find of the day, no idea what that is. I think I've got something old here. There. I hope. Here is good news on the calf I found a few weeks ago stuck in mud in a river in part one of my previous video. And here it is, the arrows point exactly at it. I'm pleased to say the calf is alive and kicking and it's very healthy now. The calf was kept in a barn with lots of straw for a week and was on strong antibiotics which helped to cure a brain inflammation which caused sight problems. The calf might have suffered quite badly and we believe that it had been in that particular spot there for a very very long time. But the, the main thing now is that it's back to normal, it's healthy, And I would like to think that it recognized me on that day. I've got a coin here. Oh, that was a big 
draw to the fifth. Oh my god, that is an amazing competition. Oh my god, look at that. That's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. So it's 1931. So it's not full silver because after 1920 silver coins were mint only half cent silver. But this one here it does look like a full silver one, although it's not. It might have been to do with the, the mud preservation of the coin. The mud helped to preserve the coin. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. That's really good. Right, it's very windy now. I hope you can hear me. Eh? But it's the second time, or not the second time, it, it happened again. I found that door the fifth floor in yeah. And then I decided to uh, hover on top of the uh, uh, pile there, and then there was another signal right next to it. And that I just found to look. So it looks like a crown or a half crown. That is incredible. I wasn't expecting that. So it's another George V, I can see because of the date there, 1933, so whoever dropped the flooring would have, I would have thought, dropped this one here at the same time. There we are, George V. Oh my god, that's amazing. It's incredible good condition. Looks like another silver there. Silver, silver. There you are. And it's another George the fifth. Sorry, I sound a bit odd, but you know, I've had so many silvers. So it's quite quite a joy and this one is full silver because it's 1914 so it's a one shilling 1914 full or 95 percent silver of George V King George V oh that bad boy there was really quite deep but I managed to pick it up. So let's find out what it is. Okay. Britannia. So I think it's nine. No, 1862. Oh, that's good. So it's a Vicky. I was digging, as you can see there. It's quite deep, actually. That's a nice portrait, quite haunting, actually. Look at that. 
Nice one.